The mission of EVAS is very simple. Feed the hungry, shelter the homeless, treat the addicted, and do everything with the dignity of the human person at the forefront of everything we do. It's the spirit of, of, you know, I did it and you can do it too. And there's so many people who work here and volunteer here who embody that. And you see it throughout our programs. And it could start out with a meal in the kitchen and end up with us handing the keys to one of our apartments to a person who never owned anything. We started as a soup kitchen in the basement of a convent 35 and a half years ago. 30 people having franks and beans. Last year we provided 522,000 meals. Here's a place where 3,000 volunteers make a gift of themselves 365 days a year to serve their brothers and sisters. Yes, we service a lot of people here, but are our outcomes better? Are they something we can hold the continuum of care that we provide here and say, we may not be the biggest, but we are the best? We're not a place that ever sort of sits back and says, well, we're doing enough. You know, we should, be, we should be good with what we're doing. We're doing enough. We're constantly thinking about what else can we do. We do have an approach that's working. We have an approach that's changing lives. We have an approach that's saving lives. And we need to tell these stories. Listen to the stories and see what you can do to help make it a better place and a better life for those people who visit EVAs. People need to know what makes us unique what makes us different, and they need to hear these stories of lives being changed and lives being saved so that they know it works. I've seen it work year after year being part of this wonderful organization. It's, I mean, that's, that's as much of a miracle as you could possibly ever want to see in your own lifetime. Hope is right at our doorstep.